Okay, here we are. Summer's kicked in. Storms are on the horizon. Humid afternoon. The water's flowing a bit quicker than what I've normally seen it through at this place. But I'm keen to give some bass a go. I've only got a couple of hours before the storms hit and it gets dark and I have to head home. So let's see how we go. Okay, those that have seen some of my previous bass videos, this spot is one that I've been to a couple of times and shot some uh, good little sessions. The water's flowing quite a bit quicker than what it has when I've been here before. The water's much higher, um, which is good so far as it should have flushed a bit of rubbish out of the system, but it might make it a bit hard to, uh, to fish at times. There's a storm on the horizon and I have to be very watchful that it doesn't catch me down in here. With the water level already up it won't take much for it to uh, to get up a bit higher and possibly make things a little bit unsafe. So I just have to be vigilant. Don't want to get caught out here with thunder and lightning and hail. But it is these kind of humid afternoon conditions that can bring on a good native bass bite. So stick around, see how I go. Do a bit of bush bashing up here. I'm walking really loud, making as much noise as I can because I really don't want to come across any snakes up in here. I just saw what I hope is a lizard scurry away in front of me. So... That's the log jam that I was just stuck on the other side of. See if I can find somewhere to put in down here. One thing you've got to remember when you're uh, trekking in on foot to locations and going uh, the extra yards to try and find uh, the fish is that unless you're lucky enough to have one vehicle at entry, one at exit, you've got to remember that anything that you do to get in there, you've got to do back again on the way out. So you've got to leave yourself plenty of time and energy to be able to do that. Something that I need to remember tonight. My theories that I'm going to be working on with this running water is I'm going to be looking for little back eddies around structure, around bends, where the fish can sit with minimal energy, energy expenditure and wait for the food to come to them and jump out and ambush it. So, it is only a theory. Totally unproven today. Only time will tell. winds picked up, the clouds are looking fairly threatening. Signs are that I might well get chased off the water by this storm activity but it may also turn the fish on and make it a very good session for while it lasts. You never never know, you never never go. I mean, there are only weeds in this setting, but it's lovely having those canners up there and flowering weeds, lantana, all kinds of things that shouldn't be here. But at the moment, they look pretty nice. When the fish aren't biting, you've got to take your, uh, take your positives elsewhere.
if the storms do the right thing by me and stay away, then the best part of the afternoon is still to come. But I have the fear that the storms are going to close in and I'm going to get chased off the water and I'm going to miss that peak bite period of around dusk. So I really needed the encouragement of getting some hits early on. Looking at the colour of this brown water, the amount of flow, I'm not feeling it. When I fished here last season, I pulled a nice bass off of this root ball on the right hand side. But as I've already noted today, just because I've caught fish in a certain area using a certain technique in the past doesn't necessarily guarantee that it's going to work today, tomorrow or next year. Oh, there he is. I think I'm going to need the up, up the up the rent on him. Didn't he scare the bejesus out of me? That's that bit of encouragement that I was hoping for. Nothing half-hearted about that. That's it. My trip hasn't been a total loss. And that's a good result for what I reckon. For a, Even if I don't catch another fish, and I really hope I do, but even if I don't catch another fish today, that one there, out of a tiny little creek, a couple of hours, surface hit, soft shell cicada, ripper. There you go, mate. Thanks. Thanks for making my afternoon. That's one of the great things about fishing, is that you can go from feeling as low as a snake's undercarriage to in seconds having adrenaline coursing through your system and a smile on your face. It doesn't always work that way. But when it does, it's pretty special. The wind is fairly whistling down this little open section of the creek. And when I say suburban or urban creek, you know, you can see up there, that's somebody's backyard. So I'm right in the middle of suburbia. This is, for want of a better term, a drain. You know, it is a natural creek, but that's what it's used for. All of our uh, stormwater runoff ends up down here. Oh, there's an interested spectator over there having a crack. That's good. Is he gonna come back and have a second go? I'm pretty sure he didn't feel the hooks, so. Even though the fish have eaten this cicada in this colour, um, I'm getting frustrated by the amount of uh, tangles that I'm getting. And I've just had a little bit of a, a tangle up with a stump beside the water, so I'm just going to take the time to change lures. Still sticking surface. But I'm going to go to the uh, walk the dog, Lucky Craft Sammy, 65. Just going to throw a little loop knot on here. Even the walk the dog's having a bit of trouble steering clear of all of this surface. 
platter. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's done me. Oh. He swam at me so quickly that I couldn't keep up with him. Spat the hooks. Too good for me. Oh, yep, there we go. I'm not sure if it's just the time of day or if the uh, oncoming storms. Oh no, pulled the hooks. Opened up a treble a little bit. That's two losses in a row. The good thing is they're biting. The bad thing is I'm not a good enough fisherman at the moment to catch them. Gotcha. Good one. I actually saw that fish, I believe, moving through the reeds um, just before he hit it. So there you go. Finally, I've got one, the hooks to stick in another one and stay there. I don't think he's as big as the previous one was. I think that that was a really nice fish that I, uh, or the previous two, that got off. There you go. Another lovely bass. Nice and healthy. Good solid tummy on him. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Now you've got yourself in a right pickle, haven't you? There you go. Whew. So that fish there, it came off something that's fairly nondescript compared to some of the structure that's in here. It's just this little point in the, in the grass, hanging over. And uh, he was just sitting on that edge there, waiting for something either to fall in or out of the grass, in the wind, or... Um, Something that lives in there, flicking around, maybe like a bit of uh, shrimp or something like that. And for a pleasant change today, I was good enough to uh, stick him with the hooks and have them stay. So I'm just going to continue working this little uh, grass edge. Oh, there's a swirl. Did he take it? No, he didn't. Did he take it that time? Oh, I've just got to leave it there. I don't want to pull it away from him. I don't think he felt the hooks in either of those attempts, so... Get it back in there. Oh, yep, gotcha. Oh, no, he's off. What is going on with my strike rate today? I think that was only a little fish, that one. Yep, got him. That was subtle. I'm 
back my drag off a little bit from previous fish because I've just been pulling so many hooks that I didn't want to uh, do the same thing again. One finds its way into the net. Another healthy little bass. And the big question is, am I going to get my butt handed to me by this big storm? I think this is my turnaround point. Um, I'm running out of daylight hours anyway. And I really don't want to be out here in the dark if it's going to be stormy. I don't want to put storm and darkness together. So there you go. So as this sto storm rapidly closes in, um, I've decided to head back as close as I can to the car and work a little bit of uh, water closer to the car but uh, I think discretion is the better part of valor when it comes to lightning and thunder and fishing rods and being on the water so uh, as tempting as it is to stay and cast my way back methodically and make the most of these conditions uh, I want to be around and healthy to fight another day so I'm going to run with my tail between my legs, stop for the odd cast at a promising looking area and hopefully make it back to the uh, car in one piece. Well there you go, made it back to the car puffing and panting just in time for the rain to arrive, the lightning and thunders crashing down in the background, Whew, cut it pretty fine though few more minutes and I would have been down there in it. It was well worth the effort though. Got a few good fish. Missed a few as well. And I think the lights just went out so you're probably now struggling to see me. Oh well. See ya.